Okay, guys, here I am coming to you from my kitchen. Show you a couple things I hauled that I went yesterday and today. Today I just had to run by, pick up a couple of things, and one of those things is these. I hadn't seen these before. It's called a um, non-slip rug underlay. So, in one of my earlier hauls, I showed you those, what I call rag rugs. I'm actually gonna see if I can try to put these down underneath those and kind of hold them in place. So, see what happens with that. I got two of those. Um, I picked up a tablecloth for the little table in the other room. Got the poinsettia one. I have a lot of holly poinsettia type decorations this year for some reason. Here's that second rug underlay. I picked up another box of popcorn. We're filling up the popcorn movie boxes and I was a little bit short because I decided to do that same thing for a couple more kids on my list. So, picked up a box of this primetime popcorn. All the other boxes were Act 2 um, and they were totally out of those today. So, I hope the primetime is good. I got four boxes of mothballs. So, last night I was in the store and the whole shelf where they keep the mothballs by the laundry kind of like, um, I don't know, where they where they have hangers and different closet, the closet area they call it. The shelf was completely empty. So I go in this morning and the shelf is clearly back full with mothballs. And um, as I had told you before, we use these around our um, vehicles in the garage to, I guess, to keep rodents out. I don't know if it works or not really, but we keep doing it, so. All right, I picked up four little gift bags. Really cute, again, these ones um, have like the attached tag and the ribbon handle. Right, that one, this one. Oh, and did I say I'm coming to you from my kitchen? So you can see behind me, I had talked before about how we wrap our cupboards. I'm not sure if I did that in a video or if um, it was actually a comment that I left for someone else's video, but uh, let me show you here real quick. So it's actually a piece of poster board. We cut it to fit. We wrapped it in wrapping paper. We stapled on some little bit of um, elastic and then made the little slice for our, our uh, hard, covered hardware handles and stuff. There we go. We got wrapped kitchen cupboards. They're so cute. Thanks for hanging in there, guys. Okay, here's the other gift bags I got. It actually says Merry Christmas. This one. Feels a lot like the Christmas cards I got. Okay, so these bags were so cute. I was looking for the perfect size and gift bags and I found these. Just really like them a lot. They're on like the brown paper, really cute designs. They've got ribbon handles and um, they come with the gift or the gift tag already attached. So I got each one of the designs that were at my store. That's the Santa Claus. The 
snowman. <laughs> These are so cute. They're reindeer. And then the penguin. And then I found these I had never seen before. Display easels for your photo frames. Two sizes. You have this size, which is a smaller one. And there was a, a silver and a gold. And then they had the larger size. And I got one of each of those as well. One silver and one gold. The gold one needs a little... You know, they both need a little tweaking, but they're easily put right back into shape. So those were really great. Alright, I picked up three cans of soup. Two chicken noodles. These are the oversized, 35% bigger. And it's just right. There's sometimes, um, a lot of times, three of us. And one can's not enough. And two cans is too much. So this is just right. Two of those. And one of the tomato. Bigger. Cool. Picked up two of my secret powder fresh. Solid. Secret solid powder fresh. And oh, I got these two. I guess I'm collecting these now. Started to got these two of the swinging solar characters. They didn't have those the first time I went in. So I was happy to see those. I think there's another swinging one. I saw them online, and then they were going to charge, like, a crazy amount of money to ship them. It, it didn't have um, ship to store free available, so I didn't get them. But then I went into my store, and they did have these, so I got those. And I picked up some Band-Aids. Just a variety pack, and then these bandages. 20 sterile bandages, 3 quarter inch by 3 inch. Minions. I saw these thermal socks hanging up there. I thought, well, I'll throw those in my husband's stocking, see what he thinks. He's had, obviously, socks like these before, and I have good luck with Dollar Tree socks, so I thought these were nice. They actually, they smell funny. Yeah, oh, they smell like burlap, like they've been stored in a burlap shed barn place or something, but um, hopefully it'll, it'll wash out. I picked up a little stocking stuffer four wheeler. Thank you. And some regular old aspirin. And a couple other things. Oh. Oh, I found these variety pack of sequins. Oh, pretty sparkly. With the fall colors. Really, really liked it. And, you know, I don't have a special project in mind, but I like to gather up crafty stuff when I see stuff that I like and I know I will eventually use. So, I love these. Very cool. All right. I don't know if you all have seen the videos with the vases and the Sharpie technique. Where they take a vase, they spray it with a metallic paint, a gold, a rose gold, even a silver. They kind of do a, a, an ombre effect where it's around the top part, it's a little more solid color and then lighter spray so it's almost see-through or translucent on the bottom part. Then they take a scene, a Christmas scene of some kind, and they tape it to the inside 
they cut it to fit inside the jar and they tape it. And all that is is a template for you to outline and color and draw on the outside of the jar with a Sharpie marker. And then you take the picture out and then you put a candle in there. Um, if you search, I don't know, I don't know. They've been showing it on Facebook and stuff and I'm sure there's some YouTube videos that, that show it, so think about that and I got so I got two two of the Sharpie markers I have tried to get a couple of those projects done I'm hoping oh I got three Sharpie markers and then you know me me and my nail stickers which my nails are just awful right now I don't know look they're just like I've never had nails this bad I don't know how long but when they start to like get a little better and I can have some nail to put something on I'm just gonna use all my nail stickers I just got you know a whole bunch of them I love the sassy and chic ones they're big enough the other ones are too skinny I guess I have fat nails so they don't fit and I got I'm afraid of these like running out so I got all the kinds they had variety all right so that's it for my haul guys Thanks for watching. Subscribe below. Merry Christmas to everyone. I don't know if I'll be back between now and, and Christmas. So, happy holidays and all those good things. Everybody, peace. Yeah, too big. But, that's okay. I'll use it. Okay, so I changed... What I'm going to do here, seeing as it was too big for one, I'm going to lay the other one down. And I'm going to see. I mean, they actually do, like, it sticks. So it doesn't move. I like it. There, I can move that, but that's not on the Matt. Cool. I almost forgot this. It passes the tomato juice test. I'm actually very picky about my tomato juice. And I got this. And I used it in a recipe. One of our favorite meals. It's meatloaf. You make a tomato type one. And actually I'll just tell you. It's ground beef. Crushed saltine crackers. A lot of onion, salt and pepper, and a little bit of tomato juice and an egg. That would be like the recipe for um, two pounds. You just put a little bit in the mix when you're mixing up the meatloaf. Um, so a little over a half a sleeve of crackers crushed. So the two pounds of ground beef, salt and pepper, one egg, a little over half a sleeve of crushed saltine crackers, and quite a bit of onion, so I'd say like uh, a large onion chopped up. Mix that all up, form it into your loaf. Now I put it in a 9 by 13, not in a loaf pan, not in like a bread or a loaf pan. Put it in a 9 by 13 so that there's room around all sides of it. I kind of make mine maybe maybe about 3 inches tall, and it's, it's rectangular, but kind of... Yeah, very rectangular, kind of flat, like when I spread it all out. And then pour the, the tomato juice all over the top until it comes almost all the way up to the top of the meatloaf. Cover it, bake it for an hour, then take off the cover and probably another 30 minutes or so. I'm telling you, you guys, it's going to be... Like, we love it. And we always have with mashed potatoes, and my husband loves it with green mashed potatoes and green beans, so... Meatloaf, mashed potatoes, green beans. It's actually a pretty simple meal. Um, uh, something else I was going to say about it. Oh, the texture. And, and I don't know if it's the crackers or what, but we love the texture of it. It's hearty and delicious and filling. So anyway, this did pass the tomato juice test. Um, I made the meatloaf and it worked, so I picked up another can to keep on hand.